Frazier Crane to Mayor Kane. Our next guest is taking quite the journey. Of course, I'm talking about Kelsey Grammer. You know him, many of us do, from his days at Cheers, then Frazier, and now on Stars on a show called Boss, where he's the mayor of Chicago. He does it really intensely. If you're looking for comedy out of him, not in this mayor, but he's done a fantabulous job. He's a new dad yet again. And I've got to ask, Kelsey, what did you do for Faith's first month birthday? Uh, what did we do? Actually, we just uh, we got back from Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> really? We dragged her off on a torture tour. No, no, she was she was great. It was a bit of a drive, but we stopped every hour and a half or so, and like you know, let her air out a little bit and give her a little food. Um, we uh, we celebrate her life each day so far. She's quite a kid. Well, I can sure see you're a proud dad, but let's get right into your character. What was it about Mara Kane that really challenged you to new heights? Well, you know what? I, I, I played a pretty substantial part in, in sort of cracking the character in the first place. Um, we wanted to set up a, a, a basically a king, a, a king whose, whose decline was imminent and uh, who um, made a lot of rotten choices and hurt a lot of people and, uh, and finally, hopefully in the end, uh, has some kind of redemptive moment, That's, uh, which is what makes him tragic. But our goal was to tell a, a modern sort of epic tragedy. Well, I've read where you've actually compared the role to Shakespeare's King Lear. Mm, yeah, it's it's got a lot of Lear elements in it. The daughter and and uh, the henchman and the, and the and the guys that you know are loyal to him. Uh, we there we draw we've drawn from a few of the plays. Well, you mentioned making connections. Well, you've connected to one of our hometown boys here, T.I., who's starring in the show. What's he like? T.I. joins us as, uh, you know, I mean, he's a, a great, great personality. I mean, and he's a great presence on screen as well. I mean, he gives a terrific performance as this, uh, as this young man, Trey, who wants to make his way up in political circles and uh, in the Chicago inner circle. Uh, he, does a, he does a hell of a job. Uh, I, really, I can't really even say much more than that. <laughs> it's just a few things he does that are uh, sort of maybe like uh, Keynesian. <laughs> well, T.I. is certainly a treasure here in the Atlanta area, and I've got to ask, what makes Stars such a great fit for Boss? Well, you know, they've, they've allowed us to tell our story the way we want to tell it. Um, there is, you know, some studios really interfere a lot. These guys have, you know, they give notes. They, they, um, they also bought the whole thing. We, um, Farhad Safinia had written the first script, the pilot script. Uh, Showtime was interested in, in shooting the, the pilot. Uh, Stars had the, the foresight and the good taste to simply say, let's see the whole season. So that was a benefit, uh, to be given that opportunity to tell the first arc of the story, the first act of this story as we see it. And uh, they gave us, of course, a chance to do the second act. We'll see if we get the third. <laughs> well, Kelsey, certainly congratulations on the second act, as you call it. You have a well-publicized childhood that faced a lot of tragedy in it. What enabled you to come out of it and shine as well as you have? Gosh, uh, I have fallen many times, and I have failed in many endeavors, but I have always had faith. Uh, always had faith. Now I have a child in faith. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. A kid will keep you on your toes. Congratulations on being a new dad again. But I have to ask, given your tremendous success, which has certainly been great because we all get to enjoy it, what advice would you give to the rest of us pursuing our dreams given your success, Kelsey? Don't quit. That's about it. I always used to say to my, I used to sort of coach the celebrity hockey team once. I used to say, what you got to have is three things, talent, tenacity, and intention. Uh, you have to have a, a, a gift, and then you have to have um, I, I will not quit kind of determination about it. And uh, you also have, a, have to have a plan. If you don't have a plan, you're a mess. So uh, stick with it. Stick with it, but have an idea about where you want to go. That's, that's the real trick. And for a lot of young people, it's figuring out where you want to go, honestly. That is the thing missing, you know, where you'd like to go. And uh, I wanted to go everywhere, so I became an actor. Well, there's no doubt about it. We are glad that you became an actor. Congratulations on your Golden Globe, and we look forward to season two of the, well, I should say the act two of Boss. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. <laughs>